Hi and welcome to the Real Magic Review Discussion where I'm going to be discussing the Omni Deck. Now this is getting a bit of a bad rap recently and that's why it's come to mind because I do it all the time and it's an interesting thing to talk about because I don't know where I stand on it. Well, I kind of do but I can see both sides of the argument. So everything I say is just my opinion, it's not right or wrong and you've got to do uh, whatever you feel. But the two things I'm hearing is that A, this is becoming saturated. You go to a gig and people are saying, I've seen that before, or I saw that other thing last week. Everybody's doing it. It is one of those things like the ambitious card and you know, sponge balls for some people. It's, yeah, it's getting a bit of that sponge ball bad rap where we kind of know it gets a reaction, but is it becoming a bit naff and overused and is it, is it cool? I don't know. Um, that's probably the wrong word, but you know what I mean. Uh, the other thing is B, uh, it doesn't make any sense. There was a big thread on one of the forums the other day saying that Omni Deck makes no sense because why would the deck of cards turn into a block of Perspex? Now, this is the one I have a little bit more, more sort of challenge with. So first of all, we go with the first one. Yes, I totally get it, right? If you're at a gig and someone says, we saw it last week, there's part of you that kind of drops and goes, you know, especially if it's one of your killer tricks. I did double cross the other day and I put a video in it and as I was doing it, uh, someone said, oh, I saw this last week, this guy did it. And so they knew what was coming. So again, part of me almost wanted to quit doing a trick, which obviously I wouldn't do, but I was kind of like, oh, fuck it. You know, now with, that's in our heads a lot of it, I think, because I don't think there's anything wrong with people seeing a trick twice. Now I do, obviously, the old magician's rule of don't show a trick twice, one after the other. Yeah, that, okay, and, that, and we've all done that. I think you're lying if you say you haven't. But most of the time you wouldn't do it. But if they've seen a trick a few weeks ago and they see it again, so what? Because you're not just performing it or you're rarely performing it to one person. You're performing it to the other people. So if they say that, I just kind of tip them a little wink and they go with it and everything's okay. Is there anything wrong with seeing a trick more than once? You know, I went to see the League of Gentlemen the other day, right? And the comedy group, League of Gentlemen, and they, half their stuff was stuff that I'd seen hundreds of times, but there was a joy in that. And I'm not saying you want to show everybody tricks that they've seen hundreds of times, but there is, most people that said they've, they've seen something before do it, get quite excited about it. I don't know, it's like when they're holding that thing, they kind of know what's coming, or with double cross, you know, he still kind of went, God, I still don't know how it's happened. It almost, Sometimes it's like a snowball effect. They've seen it twice and it's even more exciting. It's not as new and it's not as surprising, but it still gives them something. And I think that that's important to know. So my thoughts on it, yeah, yeah if you're working in Vegas or you're working somewhere where people are seeing close-up magicians all the time, fair enough, and, and maybe in central London around Christmas. But you know what? If a few people have seen it, I'm not that bothered because I'm just looking at the response. And the response is really important but it's not the be all and end all. And what I mean by that is that, yes, if you're still getting a good response to it, it makes you feel a bit icky and part of you is like, I don't want to do this, then you shouldn't be doing it because the, the audience will pick up on that. But it's, if I think, you know, you read about Cardini, you, in Cardini and you read about those vaudeville days when people would have a three or four minute act and do it again and again and again for, for years and years. So it's, can you find something to make it fresh, to make it enjoyable? Which leads us on to the other thing, it doesn't make any sense. Now, this is something that does really <laughs> annoy me. And I'm not saying it just, it, it, very little in life does. Uh, tech going wrong and people saying that about magic tricks. Because the strongest magic tricks are magic because they don't make any sense. Now, some of you are gonna be throwing stuff at your phones or your screen or throwing your phone out the window at this because you're gonna think, yeah, it has to be, you know, you have to, it has to have a story and magic has to have meaning and all that. It doesn't, it really doesn't. In some contexts, it is enhanced by it. And if you are that performer and you're, you know, we're not all Eugene Berger, but if you're Eugene Berger, you are a master storyteller, then yeah, it's, it's amazing. But I try and tell a story and give magic meaning. It just sounds, I, I sound like a dick. It doesn't work for me. Okay, my meaning is to make it humorous or to make it spooky or something. And it doesn't mean I won't script certain things to give it some meaning, but it doesn't have to be this. You know, a good example I always say is, you know, if, if, you, if you're watching dance and, and, and a ballet and someone pirouettes across the stage, it's almost like saying, well, that's pointless. They could just walk. Right? You, you, the point is the beauty and the, the, the intrinsic inherent beauty in what you're doing. So, and again, if you're that sort of performer, you might be a performer that definitely needs 
needs to have meaning and that's absolutely fine and, and therefore it's not for you. But what I do disagree with is people, you know, waxing lyrical and preaching to other people saying you shouldn't do that because it doesn't make sense. Well, you know what? The cups and balls doesn't make sense because you know you've got balls jumping around and then they're oranges and there are some people that say it's more powerful it makes more sense if the balls have grown so if you're doing it with with um baseballs then it should be a big baseball in the cup now listen I've, now that works because i've done that but it gets a much stronger reaction when it's oranges and it gets people laugh and they don't laugh just because it's funny they laugh as a sort of gut reaction to the surprise because when it goes from ball to orange it's so unexpected and you know what, I did it on the street and there were people come back and see the street show that had seen it before and still loved it. Because, then going back to our first point, because they, they still couldn't see, the misdirection was so strong, they couldn't see the orange. So, you, you don't, believe me, right, I have no scripting with this. I think, I, <laughs> you're going to think I'm really lazy because I said this about the, um, you know, the paddle thing, the turbo stick. And I'm not a big scripter. I don't, I have scripts and gags, and, but I don't have to usually say that much you know over and just the fact that that is in their mind a glass block yes it's a bit of perspective it's a glass block that level of surprise to me is what you want in a magic trick it's it's where what happened <laughs> and they can't there's no meaning there so script wise yes i mean you can do the things of it's all becoming clear and oh it's a clear block or but it doesn't have to so don't worry about it. So if people tell you it's pointless, it's not. If you feel not great about performing it, don't perform it. But my feeling is that, you know, I've been doing this thing for years and 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 it's never failed me. And yes, I put other stuff in to make me fresh and I, you could argue that I don't have to learn anything else because I have a set that I've been doing for 10 years. But but I'm, but the, I, the, this is my, you know, if I'm struggling and I've got a group of people Bang, I'm really down. I know I've got them. Same with the bottle free table, same with the car, i all that stuff. So uh, don't do it because I said that. And you don't have to love it because I said that. And I too, do totally understand uh, most of those arguments. But if you're enjoying it, don't stop doing it because someone on the forum says it doesn't make sense. So there it is, a little discussion. And I do want you to disagree and uh, that'd be great. So do, do comment and... Um, and on social media, whatever. I do have an Instagram account now. It's it's Card Magic Course, the Instagram account. It's not all about the Card Magic Course. I just put, I just wanted a place to put my my magic and me faffing around with cards. Um, so Instagram is Card Magic Course. Twitter is at Faulkner Steve, uh, or comment below. So thanks very much. Have a good one, and uh, thank you for listening. Cheers.